Is the Algarve a good place to retire? Well, I'm 31, but... <laughs> Do you know? Very funny. <laughs> so we have a ways to go before we have to think about that. But yes, that's why we're here. That's why most people are here. Yeah, I agree. That's it? Yeah. You just agree? <laughs> what can I say? I'm can you say young. something else? The climate is mild. Food is, is delicious. What else? <laughs> For those who are retired, their money needs to stretch a lot more. So the cost of living is still relatively low, as we talked about already. Yeah, exactly. Is Valdelobo safe? Yes. I mean, Portugal in general is the fifth safest country in the world. It's actually the fourth. Uh, it's the fifth nowadays. Okay, it's fourth. Back straight. <laughs> are we Googling yeah. this? Yes, I'm Googling it. Safest country. I think it's the fourth. It keeps changing every year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll keep this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's important. So, yes, uh, I mean, Portugal in general is one of the safest countries in the world. And then once you actually go into the development, into the resorts, it's just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've you know, got security. 24 7 security, you feel safe. And mm -hmm. I've. And, you, I think it's more like you don't even think about it. You know, you're it. walking around and, and you're you feel safe. You, yeah. Yeah, you're not concerned. Um, it's very yeah, relaxed, as you say. Is it cheaper to live in Portugal than the UK? Um, you heard some stats the other day about them. I, yeah, I read. I read something on um, on a, a Numbel, which is one of the largest um, database for cost living, and actually compared to UK, it's uh, 26 around 26 percent less uh, less expensive. expensive. Yeah. It might depend, of course, um, if we talk about rent, food, but in general, I would say it's 26%. Interesting. So, Next Sandra, question. how much do homes cost in the Algarve? Well, hmm. how long is a piece of string? Um, it's a good investment. It is, it is, and there has been growth constant in yeah. the Algarve, especially over the last few years. Uh, and we have a range. Uh, which can be seen on our website, a range. Yeah. Yeah? So apartments, please. townhouses, villas, all the way from 500 to 30 million. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's a lot of zeros. <laughs> How big is Quinto do Lago? How big? <laughs> At least a hectare, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how big are What's the actual hectares? Uh, the original 550 hectare site, Quinta do Lago. It was actually owned by a... The original farmhouse was owned by a family for over 200 years and then Adre Jordan came one day and bought it off of them. So, what's the strangest things that I've asked you in Portugal? About Portugal? Is that it? someone's asked me about Portugal? Yeah. The strangest thing someone's ever asked me about Portugal is if we eat sardines every day. Really? Yes. And you do? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about food again. <laughs> we, can all, we know the theme of, of the two of us <laughs> is food. Yes. And property and the Algarve, which we love. Which we love. We do. So thank you for tuning in. We hope that you've learned something about Algarve Portugal today. And food, of course. Yes. <laughs> and food, of course. And property, hopefully. So please subscribe and check out our website.